Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. Here we go again. Another round of rain setting up, so it's going to be wet again in the morning for the morning bus stops and the morning commute. Extra time, the headlights on, you know, the drill by now. We've had it about every day this week. As promised last night, we talked about how the rain and thunderstorms would be out here over West Texas, move along the Red River, stay over north, northern parts of Texas, and stay away from Dallas, the severe stuff anyway. The other rain showers will spread in from the west as we go into the nighttime hours. I'll turn our high resolution rapid refresh future track on here. We'll start it at 3 a.m. and you can see scattered light rain showers, maybe a thunderstorm down in Pittsburgh County. This spreads across the area, picks up in intensity down in parts of Latimer, Haskell County, into Sequoia County, toward Muskogee County and Cherokee and, and Adair County. But otherwise, this rain sticks around until about noon and then finally, just like today, it clears off a little bit and we're back into the mid 60s. We had up to 65 today. Right now, clear skies. Looks like an airplane going into Tulsa International Airport. 56 degrees, northeast wind at 6 miles an hour. The air is a little dry out there right now. The dew point's back down to 41. 48 in Coffeyville. So there are some chilly spots across the region here tonight. 54 at Tahlequah, 62 at McAllister. All right, severe weather on Friday. Is it a slam dunk here? No. There will be some severe weather in the Midwest, but there is a chance. There's a chance that it could end up most of it anyway up to the north. So is it very high or high? No, it's more like moderate, but certainly not low. So we have a moderate threat of severe weather and here's we have the setup. It almost looks ideal for a great severe weather outbreak, but a couple of things are going on. I'll explain here in just a second. Humid air certainly flowing above us. We've got some powerful jet stream winds at one level and a lower level wind also twisting. So there's a natural twisting in the atmosphere, but I want to show you the surface setup at 7 p.m. So between four and nine, we typically think of our severe weather uh, outbreaks or those, that's when the severe weather busts out. But notice what's going on here. Likely some low level jet energy is, is just firing these storms over Texas into southeastern parts of Arkansas and closer to the triple point where the cold front, the dry line and the low pressure area in this warm front all meet. There are thunderstorms in central parts of Kansas. Here we are in Oklahoma. Not much going on. Why? There's probably a warm layer of air aloft that's keeping the atmosphere capped Friday afternoon. So we'll have to keep a, a careful and close eye on that. Meantime, the Storms Prediction Center, they have, they have an enhanced uh, risk across southern Kansas into western Missouri. So there's a little wiggle room that this could move. We're in a slight risk right now, but it looks like the best chance is just to our north, but we'll keep an eye on that. 65 today after a morning low of 49. Overnight tonight, watch the temperatures up here in Coffeyville drop into the 40s. Tulsa will stay down in the lower 50s, maybe upper 40s and you fall in Stigler right around 60 degrees. So here's the forecast for tomorrow. Rain for some at 6 a.m. We'll need the umbrellas through 9 a.m. And then the rain finally comes to an end around the noon hour. A break in the clouds with some sunshine. 66 degrees damp and cool tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow night will be a cool night. Here's the seven day forecast. We're looking at an overnight low of 52 Friday, 77 with a 50% chance of rain on Friday. And that rain is out of here in time for Saturday. So it's sunny on Saturday, 83. Sunny on Sunday, 82, but then another front and storm system move into our area Monday, and we've got the yellow light on again on Monday, so the severe risk is possible. So again, possible Friday, possible Monday, but uh, Friday, we just have to wait and see exactly how that sets up. Certainly not a slam dunk.